What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video and we're going to do another tweak video for you guys and it's on a font. So this is a tweak that you can get through Cydia and it allows you to change the font on your iPhone system wide. This includes everything within applications and settings and uh, everywhere like I said system wide. Now I do have a font installed here as you guys can see. The settings is very basic for it. You just have the enabled, uh, you have enable UI label hook, you have the font, a bold font. You can blacklist certain applications from using a font. So if you don't want to alter the font in a certain application, you can blacklist it. Um, and the most powerful part here, and that's why I'm covering it, is the ability to browse fonts and install them manually. You can change the font size there, and then you have a couple of options down at the bottom here, like enable in WebKit, uh, use important tag. You can clear the font cache and refresh Springboard, and then you have a, a respring at the bottom there. So uh, what I like about AFont so much is the ability to use essentially any font I want, as long as it's a .ttf or .otf file font. Now. A lot of people are going to say, well, why not just use the snowboard extension for font and do it that way and just download the font from Cydia? Well, the reason why I like this is because um, I can find any font I want. I'm not limited to what's available in Cydia. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to install a custom font and how to enable it. Now, you're going to need the files uh actually i have it right here the files uh application from cydia as well and um this is just an absolute must have um on your iphone to be able to browse the entire file system it is different than the normal files app uh like i said it gives you complete control over the entire file system in ios and it's very essential to do this now i'm going to back out of the fonts here just so you guys can see so i'm backed all the way out there and uh, what I like to do when I first start, you know, installing fonts is to favorite the um, the file system that the fonts are found in. So what you can do after you have files uh, is go ahead and do open font folder. Um, and as you can see, there is a font. So you can just select on that. And now from here, what I like to do is click the little star on the bottom there. And that is to favorite uh, this, this file section. And as you can see, I already have it at the top. There is a font. Now, like I said, this is incredibly handy because if you are somewhere else, let's say in the file system, you know, this way you don't have to back all the way out to go to it. You can just click your favorites and jump into the fonts. So that is super handy and a really nice feature of files. So now that you've done that, what we can do is we can jump into uh, Google Chrome here. You can use Chrome or Safari. And uh, this is the website here that I like to use. It's called dafont.com. And there are a ton, and I mean a ton, of different fonts to choose from depending on what kind of style font you like. Now, a little bit of information about when you're trying to choose a font. Let's select on um, this one here. As you can see, the numbers and symbols, there's no actual um, like symbols or numbers for this font. You do not want to install this type of font because none of this will be displayed. There's a little kind of like icon and that's what will be displayed for all of those different numbers. So you do want to, you know, pay attention to what font you're installing. Now I know there is a section here somewhere and I forget what it is. Um, I think it would be just in, maybe in basic here, you can find a lot of just uh you know regular style kind of fonts and they for the most part will have all of the characters and the numbers that you need um i guess we could try like calling code let's see if this one has everything i need in it and this one does as you can see it has all of the numbers it has all of the symbols and that is essential for when you're looking for a font you're going to need everything with the font in order for it to operate correctly um, on your iphone um, if it doesn't, if it has missing missing items, they will appear blank or have a weird logo instead of the actual character or symbol or whatever it is. So do take note of that. But from this page here, when you find a font you like, you can just click on the download button. And I'm just using Chrome just because I like Chrome the best. It's my preferred uh, internet browser. 
and then we can do open in and I'm going to go ahead and just open it in files right there. I almost clicked on the wrong one. Save to files. -a. And then you can save it to your documents section just like that. And now we can exit out of Google Chrome. We can go back into files -a, and it by default put us into the documents. And now you just need to find the zip file of the new font, which is right there. And you can just click on it to unzip it. We can go into the folder. And as you can see, there is the .otf and the .dot ttf file uh, now i'm sure people are going to ask me uh what is the difference between the two fonts the styles that is what's the difference between ttf and otf uh ttf is just an older version um the otf is kind of the newer version so if you have the opportunity to use otf i probably would uh, but if needed you can still use the ttf it is not an issue so what i'm going to do is go ahead and click on edit and i'm going to select on the otf and then i'm going to go ahead and move it so now I've clicked on move and this is where the favorites come in really handy. Just click on the star, go to a font, click the paste board in the lower left and just paste in that new OTF. Now we just need to remember the name. So we'll exit out of files. One thing you're going to need to do here is kill settings from multitasking so that the file system updates. Let's go ahead and relaunch it, go into mods, go to a font, and then we can go into font and that was calling something let's see if we can't find it and the calling code so there it is right there so we can select on it and now i will choose it for the bold font and as you guys can probably tell a font also comes preloaded with a bunch of different fonts i believe it's mainly just the apple stock system fonts that it has it might have some others but it does come preloaded with a bunch of fonts so you guys could always go through and try out the different ones but like i said i like to use this as complete control and choose what font i want to use on my iPhone. So we're just gonna try and find calling code here for the bold font. Let's see if I can't find it. And there it is, calling code. So I'll select on that. And now you will notice that with certain custom fonts, you will have to change the size because different fonts come in different sizes. Sometimes they'll be a little bigger, sometimes they'll be a little smaller. And just know that a font gives you the ability to resize it so it sizes up correctly. But now that we've cho chosen the new font, I'm going to go ahead and restart my springboard here. And you guys will see that I should have a new font system wide on my iPhone. And that's why I like a font. And there you go. There is the new font there. As you can see, it's kind of big, so I could probably get away with resizing it. Let's take a look in settings. As you can see, the font has made changes. We can go and do a third party non Apple application like Tweetbot here. And you guys will see that all of the font there is changed as well. So very, very cool tweak. I like to use it um, for a font on my iPhone. It's my favorite. Uh, I'll leave all of the information you guys will need down in the description, such as repos. I'll leave a link to the font website and all that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.